Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel SAP SD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAP SD Support Project Real Time Tickets. I have already discussed about one another ticket in my previous video. I will provide you the playlist link in the description. Please check out that. Now let's get started. So ticket number two. So in invoice, there is a ADAC output type is there. Right, so not only for invoice, a order, delivery, in, invoice, shipment, in all the cases, we can trigger several kind of output types like a print output, email output, fax, special functions, ALE output, EDA output, so many type of IDAC output types are there. Today, we are going to discuss about IDAC output type issue only. Right, so when we save the invoice during that point of time, an IDAC output type will be triggered. So whenever that output has been triggered, then it will create one outbound IDAC in the background. Right. So the issue here is that in the outbound IDAC, the IDAC contains several informations like sold to customer, ship to customer, invoicing number, invoicing date, what are the materials that has been there in that invoice, and Pricing also it will carry. The main issue here is that some pricing informations are missing in that IDAC, outbound IDAC. Okay, now let's understand the basic things about outbound IDAC. Here, the outbound IDAC message type in case of invoice is this invoice I N V O I C. And the FM which will be triggered to process this outbound IDAC invite message type is IDAC output INVOIC invite. It's very simple to remember. So any function models used or triggered during generation of an IDAC will be the naming conventions will be same. For example, it should be same IDAC. If it is a inbound IDAC, then it should be input. If it's an outbound IDAC, then it should be output. Finally, here message time will be updated. If it is an order create orders, if it is an Invoice, invoice outbound IDAC means it should be INVO IC. If it is an order response, then it should be ORDRSP. Like this, we can easily identify the function module which will be called or triggered based on which message type and based on what the direction here. One means incoming, two means outbound. Yeah. So this is the one thing and segment. So in the IDAC, we have several segments are there. Even EDK01, even EDK14. Right. Similar way, for pricing, we have a segment called E1 EDP05. This is situated in situated under parent segment. E1 EDP 01 because the pricing will be displayed for each and every item. That is the reason this E1 EDP 05 segment will be displayed under the parent segment E1 EDP 01. So here the business is the concern saying that the pricing information not displayed, the segments, the segments not displayed in the IDAC. And one more thing that we should remember here. If this 
if it is even it will be 0 1 plus sorry it's 5 right sorry then then uh, base price surcharge fried if it is even it will be 0 5 minus then it might be discount rebates etc segment is same with help of the sign plus or minus we can determine what's the nature of this pricing is it is it, is it adding to that total net value or it is reduced from the net value and same thing you can see here see here we have so many segments even edp05 plus and minus the issue here is that some prices are missing in the idoc so that we need to identify and understand why that is missing why that is missing in outbound idoc yeah so we need to take a help from abap team for sure we need to apply a breakpoint in this function model then there is a each and every perform will be called to update each and every segment data right we have so many segments are there and uh, the relevant perform will be called to populate the data into that relevant segment so this is what i'm trying to explain here See here, this is standard program SAP LV EDF. It has one more include LV EDF 05. It has a form full and IDAC int tab. That means in this form only all the segments in the IDAC will be getting filled. That's what I have highlighted here as well. You see here, this is a form. This is the main program. It has one more include program, and here we have form to populate data into all the segments and if you closely observe here there is a one table i k o m b d there is a loop running on this table to fill the data into even edp05 right yeah so if the business raise a concern saying that some pricing is missing means then we should analyze here only right so most of the times the standard code works correctly there is no issue at all. If something wrong in the standard in my case, message type for standard output IDAC only, right? It's not a custom one. If it's a standard one, means it has to behave standard way only. If it's not behaving in standard way, that means some custom code written in any of the customer user exit. So customer exits, right? Something has been written to overwrite or manipulate the standard pricing here. And one more thing we should remember is that IKO MVD contains the pricing data. We know, right? In VBRK table, we have a field called KNUMV. It's nothing but document condition. So with the help of this document condition, we can retrieve data from KONV table, right? The pricing information. This KONV data only available into this table IKOMVD. So whatever we see in KOMV table, that data will be displayed in the IDAC. If it is not displayed, then there might be some wrong in the coding. Custom code might be written to populate the data. So in my case, in my project, we have some custom logic to manipulate this pricing. So which data should display in the IDAC? We should not be. So our obvious issue with that custom code only there is a bug in the code so we have corrected that code and now it's working fine right so this is how we should analyze this even adp05 pricing segments is missing in the idoc means this is how we should go through and take help from our web team and find the root cause of this issue hope uh, i'm able to explain this issue in a better way if you have any concerns please do let me know in the comment section i will try to improve myself Thanks everyone.